What's up? What's happening? What is popping? What is going on, you guys? Welcome back to another great edition of Simone with the Sweet I'm Simone, bringing you guys daily sports talk. So if you're new here, if you're old here, you haven't already subscribed to my channel, stop what you're doing, leave a comment, subscribe, keep rocking with me. Also, make sure you check out the many links down below. The first one is to buy me a copy to help fuel this channel that you love so much. The second link is to shop the official Simone with the Sweet Sweet merch collection get you the classic tee the wavy tee or the flower dye crew neck for all of my birds fans and lastly guys make sure you shop my fanatics affiliate link down below for all the best officially licensed gear of all your favorite sports teams so make sure you shop there down below but y'all if you don't know anything else turn notification bells on so you don't miss a video so you don't miss a live stream so you don't miss anything make sure you have your notification bells on but guys let's get into the topic for today so we've talked about pat bev a little bit already this season but we are going to be talking about him again because some more news has came out this morning jake fisher who is the bleacher report nba insider talked about the sixers possible interest in pat bev now the Sixers were definitely interested in Pat Bev before we got D'Anthony Melton. Now, the question is, are we still interested in Pat Bev now that we've gotten D'Anthony Melton? Is our bench, when it comes to guards, set? Now, let's talk about the quote from Jake Fisher. So, Jake Fisher said, Patrick Be Beverly also appeared to be a strong trade candidate. The former Timberwolves point guard has drawn interest from the Lakers and the Miami Heat. So the Lakers, a team that is obviously trying to bolster up that defense, um, desperately needs some help on defense. And we know Pat Bev is a dog on the defensive end. And then also the Heat as well. Sources told Bleacher Report, Philadelphia has been mentioned as a potential Beverly suitor with his past Houston experience and the Sixers' obvious deep Rockets connection. You know, Daryl Morey want to go get any and every dude who even stepped foot in Houston. Daryl Morey wants to put them in a Sixers uniform. But it seems unlikely that Beverly would now be Philadelphia-bound after the team acquired D. Anthony Melton on draft night. So, yes, Pat Bev got shipped to Utah in that trade that sent Rudy Gobert to the Minnesota Timberwolves. We know Pat Bev was Timberwolves down. Now he's with the Jazz. So this is a possible trade scenario. I know he was looking to get bought out. So I don't know if this means that the buyout is now off the table, but Jake Fisher is talking about trades. Now the question is, should the Sixers still be interested in Pat Bev, even now that we got D'Anthony Melton? Um, so let's talk about what our guard rotation is looking like right now. Obviously Tyrese Maxey starting and um, James Harden starting as well. And then our bench, heavy bench rotation is, of course, D'Anthony Melton, Shake Milton, which y'all are already here, the tongue twisters. Melton and Milton, y'all, it's going to get switched up for me on these videos. And Daniel House, who we got um, as a free agent. So those are going to be the guys that's going to be heavy in the bench rotation. Um, Daniel House, Shake Milton, and um, D'Anthony Melton. Now, y'all, when it comes to Pat Bev, if it means trading one of those players, I know we just got Daniel House, but if it means, like, maybe shipping Shake Milton um, to the Jazz or if it even means shipping Daniel House, I don't know how those rules work, but I definitely think that Patrick Beverly is an upgrade over both of those two guys because Patrick Beverly is someone who does it on both ends. He's a dog on defense, and he can knock down those three-pointers, and we know that's something that we really, really, really need on this team. Um, we know Shake Milton is capable of being a decent two-way guard, but the thing about Shake Milton, he's just so streaky. You don't know what you're going to get from him each and every night when it comes, but when it comes to Patrick Beverly, I mean, he's a veteran now, super veteran now. We know what we're going to get from Pat Bev, so the consistency, consistency is definitely there in Pat Bev. So if we could, like, we're set now, like, we have enough guards but if we could trade like a Cork Maz or a Shake Milton to get Pat Bev, then we should definitely pull the, the trigger and do it because Patrick Bev, even though, like I said in my other video earlier about Pat Bev, the dude is <laughs> freaking annoying sometimes. Like I said, he straight up pushed Chris Paul in the back for no reason. Like he really could have hurt Chris Paul. Like dude is old. Chris Paul is old. He could have pushed him throughout his back. Like Lord knows what could happen to Chris Paul. So my thing is, if we're getting rid of a guard, we should definitely get Pat Bev, but we do have a lot of guards. Now, 
the Jazz might be trading Donovan Mitchell. And if that case, if they trade Donovan Mitchell, then we know the Jazz are in complete rebuild mode. They let the coach go. In that case, they'll let deep Donovan Mitchell go and Rudy Gobert go. So that means that they'll be in complete rebuild mode, meaning they might take a Cork Maz or they might take a, a Shake Milton, um, two young players on, you know, sh very short term contracts. They might take those players. Um, and give us Patrick Beverly. So they, they're not in the, if they trade Donovan Mitchell, then they're obviously not in the business of winning right now. They're in the business of rebuilding. So in that kind of situation, we might get Pat Bev. Like I said, I'll take Pat Bev definitely over Shake Milton um, coming off the bench. If we had Pat Bev, DeAnthony Melton, and Daniel House as our main like guard rotation off the bench, I would definitely prefer that over um, having someone like Shake Milton um, and Shake Miller can still make leaps and bounds. And Shake Miller's not bad. He's just not consistent, in my opinion. And I think Patrick Bev is just such a motor and engine. And the Sixers do need somebody who can fire them up. Because there's so many times where the Sixers just come out and they just seem, like, bored. Like, <laughs> you're playing a basketball game for millions of dollars. Like, where's the energy? Where's the excitement? Um, so, Pat Bev is definitely someone that will be, like, an engine for the team. Because you always need that one player that's just going to have everybody fired up especially on a team like the Sixers that can get so complacent sometimes sometimes when guys go out there like oh we're supposed to be competing today oh like we're perfectly capable of winning certain matchups we just freaking go to sleep on a game which you know doesn't happen all the time but it happens enough to where it's frustrating um and Patrick Beverly will be that guy but like I said it's not a burning need to get Patrick Beverly but if we can get Patrick Beverly and upgrade our bench a little bit more then that is would definitely be a huge plus but y'all we've got some stuff to get into this week um when it comes to the sixers and then so what's today's day y'all this is the 13th so we have some more Sixers stuff to get into this week and then next week we're gonna be talking about some eagles training camp stuff so that's just a look ahead on what's gonna be coming on this channel because july 26th is the first day of training camp for the Eagles. So we have a lot of Eagles stuff to get into and then August training camp preseason. So the channel is going to be heavy Eagles um, towards the end of July, August, and then on to the season. But we have some stuff to talk about this week still with the Sixers and early next week. So y'all let me know what you want to see on this channel. Make sure you like this video, leave a comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this whole Patrick Beverly and our whole bench situation. Um, yeah, like this video, leave a comment, subscribe, keep right with me, check out the links down below, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!